there. Really? Yep. All right, show me something. Oh! <laughs> Pike? How big does it feel? Big. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, welcome back to the video, folks. I'm gonna have to grab a fish for Dustin, probably. Oh, boy, we're still setting up, trying to film the intro. And Dustin's like, flag. Oh man, this, this is gonna be a good fish, I think. This is a good way to start a video, man. Oh, I'm gonna say pike. <laughs> oh, he's stuck on the... Oh yeah. Give me that little gill plate. Oh. Well, there you have it. Welcome back to the video. We're catching stinkies today. What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you like Dustin catching a fish to open it up. That was pretty cool. We just got out here. We're doing some ice camping today. Just myself and Dustin. We set out some tip ups and we weren't even done setting them up. And that little slimy son of a gun decided to bite and I captured it all on film. But we're out here and check out the old shack. Wow, what an absolute flex. We got the Eskimo Outbreak 850 XD. It's basically mine, but way bigger. It's two hubs, it looks sexy. We set out all of our tip ups and we're gonna start jigging inside the house. Hopefully we're gonna catch some fish tonight. Uh, this is a new spot we've never tried here before and obviously there's pike. I'm hoping there's some walleyes and perch here too as well, but it's cold. Let's go inside and give you guys a tour. What's up? Are you even naked, bro? Dude, it's so warm in here, I'm getting naked. Do the do. Whew, so we just got inside the shack, and as you can see, I'm de but check it out. You come walking in right here, and then, bam! What a absolute flex fest. This is probably the biggest hub I've ever ice camped in, and man, we got the whole nine yards. All right, first of all, we got the cot set up, the usual. We got three holes. We even cut holes in the mats. So you guys have been commenting that. We decided to finally do it. It's gonna stay a lot warmer in here. Uh, the middle hole is gonna be for either the aqua view or the live scope. And yeah, I mean, not much to it. It fit really well in here. It's a rectangle. So you could like really line up the mats very nicely. And you got the heater, the propane, the jackery to charge stuff, some T-bell, some bush lights. And then we have some lights up here as well. But that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing. This place probably won't start to heat up until about eh, probably like 738. So it's, it's more of a night bite for these walleyes. And we're hoping to pick a couple off, uh, you know, even before the sun goes down. I got the Aqua View down right now as well. So if I can get some cool eats for you guys, that would be awesome. Drop a thumbs up for this video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you freaking doing? Just do it. We post a lot of ice fishing videos, even though ice fishing is coming to an end. We're gonna end on a good note before we start these summer shenanigans. We're gonna start fishing. You guys stay tuned. Let's get it done. 20 minutes later. Oh brother. He's going we're, back. We're marking a pike. Hopefully the, the camera's recording. There he is. Oh man. Oh, he's just chilling down there. I'm gonna drop it to the bottom and Do you see him? Raise it back up. Oh, there he is. He just swam across the screen. Oh. <laughs> He's All like, right. I don't want you. Well, there's another pike that we just marked. I'm, I'm worried that this might be a pikey spot, but I think later at night, uh, it's going to be a good walleye spot. It's, we're basically kind of on a transition where it's sand and big boulders. I don't know if you could see it really inside uh, the aqua view. It's cool to see it on the Markham. Hopefully the next one can come in and eat it. All right, guys, little update. Dustin and I have not really marked anything and it's starting to get darker out. It's about 6 p.m. I brought the Markham aqua view looking thing up. So now we got the live scope in the middle. We're both gonna be jigging right here. I'm using the Frostbite 39 inch medium light drench and uh, it's gonna handle some big walleyes. Hopefully pretty good tonight. We're thinking this could be a pretty good spot. I mean, it's 14 feet of water with giant boulders down there and sand and crawfish. 
I'm hoping they're going to roll through at some point tonight. If I had a guess, I'm going to say it's probably going to happen later. It seems like the last couple times that we've been here, these fish haven't started rolling until like dang near like 8 p.m., 9 p.m., you know? So we'll see how it goes. We're in the house jigging. We still have the tip-ups out. If something happens, I'll let you guys know. Maybe. There's two. Oh. Oh. Okay. That got interesting. Not very big. I got it. Yep. The Walter. Dude, Dustin and I have been watching this one fish. It came in and it just been sitting on top of this rock for like the longest time. And then I pounded the, the mud for a little bit brought it up and then a second mark came in and that mark was way more aggressive and the competition was there smoked my first walleye the night this is already better than our last trip so yeah i'm thinking the night's gonna heat up even more so you guys stay tuned we're on them cheers boys oh Ooh. well bam oh bro that was mouth Oh, he was uh, He's still there. Oh, he, he ate it with... Oh. oh, what a botch, boys. I have no bait. He's coming back. Oh. He's coming back. He's right on the rock. He's going to come through the rock. Yep. Bam. Yep. Jeez Louise, boys. Is there a better one? No. Well, guys, there's my second wall out of the night. Ah. <sighs> I missed him the first time, and uh, I saw him do a complete 360 and come back for me again, but my minnow head was gone, so I'll rest in peace. But it didn't matter. He was still aggressive enough. He whacked it. It was nice. It was very nice. It was the bush light that called him in. Definitely. We just cracked him. Hell yeah, brother. Oh my gosh. Oh, came in so fast. Bam. He, oh my God, dude. He munched that thing. Holy criminy. Oh. It's not that big. Just, is it a pike? Nope. Another walleye. Cheers. Another nice walleye. You freaking love that. I literally just caught that other one, and this one came screaming in. Absolutely screaming. Munched it. This is getting good. I hope you guys are having fun. Oh, oh he had it the whole time. Oh, left-handed hook sets. Rest in peace. Eat Dustin, please. Let's go. That's a nice mark, dude. Oh. Oh. Emotional damage! Fuck. How did he just do that two times to both of us? Because he was eating it when my rod was still here. I lifted my rod up and I saw my rod tip was down. Yeah. So I just did one of these left hip. Good! Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, Special things with John. Yep, we're gonna be fishing today. Dang, that would be cool. Come on. What? Came out of nowhere. Better? Stuck on the bottom. No. What the heck do I have? What? <laughs> Dude, I told you it wasn't big. <laughs> it was dogging you, bro. Oh, Dustin caught his first walleye of the night. What a freaking beast. Little guy. <sighs> yeah. You know what's going to get the fish fired up? 
some soggy tea bell. When you go ice camping and you're lazy, you don't want to cook food, you just buy some, bring it and eat it cold. You got some uh, ooh, soggy tacos right here. I ain't gonna lie, that's pretty good, but a little update. Uh, it's been a little slow since you saw Dustin catch that last one, I think. We had a couple other marks come in, but not super interested. It is about, what, almost nine? Eight. Oh, it's only almost eight. Okay, well, I think the bite should pick up at some point, so stay tuned. I'd say more than that, honestly. Yeah. You marked. Oh, oh. Am I gonna have to do this left hand? Are you what? Oh, he's done. Oh. No way. No way. No way, bro. Is it big? He <laughs> hammered it, dude. Dude, you just threw that on, too. <laughs> We're like, is this bacon to work? Do you want me to grab him or you got it? I don't know. He's right at the hole. Hey, nice walleye, dude. Thanks, man. It's nice, brother. Yeah, look at that walleye, guys. Nice one, guys. Nice, crusty. That's your biggest one of the night. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Current cut time check, 942. We've been marking a lot of fish, honestly, but they are just not. Oh, I'm on. <laughs> oh, it's still alive. See ya. Well, as I was saying, yeah, we're marking a lot of fish, but like, the, they're sometimes they want it and then like a lot of times they're just slugging on the bottom that one we saw go down uh i don't know it's good to see they're cruising but i think the weather has them kind of messed up but just that we're picking off fish here and there dustin just put on a brand new bait that he's never used ice fishing hell yeah brother heck yeah dude oh oh my oh. God. oh i have to do this left-handed That's a good one. Yeah. Land for me. He's, he's not like giant. Okay. I did do that all left-handed. Dustin like just caught that one. Looked like you had a good hook. I think I have a decent one. I'm scared because I, I set the hook left-handed, which I That's never nice do. Fish, is it? Yeah. I can't tell how he's big right it is. He's right at the bottom of the hole. Okay. I literally can't tell how big it is. Oh, snap! It's a nice walleye, boys. Hey, gaff yeah, fellers. Another nice 21 inch fish. I'm gonna send her back down the hole. Oh, yep, that was fun. Literally, Dustin just caught his on that uh, jig and wrap, and then this one came in. I'm laying down in bed and catching him with my left hand. Whew, it may, it may be heating up. See you later, Felicia. Well guys, current time check, 10.33, and Dustin and I are getting kind of tired, so we decided we're going to put some lines down uh, and try to get some sleep, and then if we get some rattle reels, I turn on the camera, yada yada, underwear catches, and then maybe, uh, it seems like once you get a bite on the rattle reel, uh, it kind of like a group of fish is around the area, so we could start jigging again. I got my rattle reel down right there, and then you look at Dustin. He's got a boot with the upside down fishing rod that goes inside the hole. Don't question my tactics. Oh, well, this will be interesting. So I'll see you guys once you catch some fish or tomorrow morning. Three hours later. Like this, I just, I just put it down. I was like, I don't think this has a minute on it. No, it does not. What up boys? I think we got one on the rattle reel. feels decent this feels okay this is oh that's a nice fish I think there's a couple down there dude 
I'm marking some down there still. Oh, big wall I did. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> dude. Holy crap. He freaking crushed it, dude. Boys, check it out. Probably like a 20, 25 inch walleye or so. Um, so we were joking like the 1 a.m. bite is so fire here. Dustin woke up, caught one, didn't get that on film. Literally 1 a.m. Another one bit. I woke up, grabbed it. Nothing was on it. And then I just reset it. And as soon as I'm resetting it, looking at the Vexi, and I see I'm just a mark coming murk it. And then I turn the camera on, and this is where we're at. Probably a nice, I don't know, 20, 25 inch walleye or so. And just, I mean, this this band is just gone. 20, just a hair under 25. That's what I thought. <sighs> Beautiful fish. Just super fat, super healthy. I want to get this fish back. <sighs> Oh, that is crazy. I was literally just putting that rattle reel down. I see a mark come off the bottom and just destroy it. Well, that is good. 7.59 a.m. Oh! Can I grab my deucer? Yeah. Crushed it, dude, finally. This. Nice. Well, good morning, everybody. It's the next morning. Uh. I just woke up. Dustin's been up for a little bit. He's already caught one other walleye, correct? Uh, two. Two other walleyes. Uh, caught another one there. They're being super finicky. We got a lot of snow last night, and it's absolutely freezing. As you can see, the tent is like all frosted up. Um, yeah, it, it. I didn't realize it was gonna be this cold, and we had a big front coming in. Dustin got it done. Oh, this is a nice, oh, nice eater walleye. Probably like 17 inches. But, oh, yep, it's freaking cold. Last night, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I was cold the whole night. This heater, for some reason, was going out like literally every like 15 minutes or so. So we wake up cold, have to start it. And as soon as it got warmed up again in here, it would shut off again. So I'm not really sure what that strategy is, but I think we're gonna stay up for a little bit longer and see if we catch any more fish during the morning bite. Oh, I saw that happen. Oh, you're on. Oh, I want my shoes on. It's this. kind of a long mark. Oh. It's coming towards my line. Dude, no way. No way. Emotional damage. There's some Rice Krispies right there. This is going to... Oh, you weren't lying. I don't think he's that big. Hey guys, I was about to go take a poopy. What the heck? That's a nice one, dude. Let's go. Ugh. Fatty. Nice that looks like cookie cutter what I caught last night, dude. Yeah, he munched that thing. Well, guys, there you have it. Uh, caught that on that jigging wrap that I showed you last night. 
beautiful walleye. He came in and absolutely crushed it. But I'm gonna get him back in the water. Nice fish, bucko. Heck yeah, brother. Thanks, brother. Well, as you can see right there, Dustin caught a nice one. Uh, 9 a.m., man. There must be some little bit of late morning bite window. Uh, that was a nice walleye, probably around that 23 to 24 inch mark. I was literally standing up to go outside and use the bathroom, and then Dustin's like, oh, big mark, turn around, just sets the hook. It came in from the left side, my side, the boulder side, and uh, went right to Dustin's jig and wrap. That's what he's been using. So these fish are definitely more aggressive seeing that they're hitting that lure. I don't know how much longer we're gonna give it. Uh, I'm gonna jig a little bit as well. If we can catch a couple more, that'd be awesome. But if not, it's been an awesome trip. <laughs> Holy smokes. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been sitting in there and haven't marked anything in a while. And oh my God, it is cold outside and it is snowstorming right now. We got Hurricane Wind Katrina, a whiteout from the snow. Uh, yeah, we did get some fresh pow pow, as you guys can see, and it's still coming down, but the shack held up pretty nice. Dustin and I are gonna pack up and leave and uh, probably come back and film some more videos. But that is where we're going to end today's video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed the uh, camping in the double shack. This is the new strat, okay? It's my first time ever camping in a shack like this, and it's not going to be my last. This thing is definitely the new meta. If you think we could set this up a little bit differently, drop a comment down below and let me know what kind of improvements we can do. But we had a good time, man. We tried a new spot. We caught some big fish. Dustin and I each caught a nice one. We lost some nice fish and a bunch of eaters in between. So it was a good time. Make sure to hit the like button down below as well. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Uh, we got a couple, a couple weeks left ice fishing, like I said, so we're going to end it on a bang. But thank you guys so much for watching this one and we will see you on the next one. <laughs>